Hello, hello. Welcome to Christ Shines in My Life. We're going to do a quick little Bible reading together, you guys. Uh, all right, first I want to read this, okay? We're going to go to Luke 12, starting at verse 54, okay? Yes, it's in the morning. I have not showered or anything yet. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Interpreting the times is what this is referring to. It's Luke verse 54, okay? Luke 12, sorry. Um, he also said to the crowds, and when you see a cloud rising in the west right away, you say, a storm is coming. And so it does. And when the south wind is blowing, you say, it's going to be a scorcher. And it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret, how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. But why don't you know how, in, how to interpret this time? Okay. Um, I love that. <laughs> I love that because Abba told us, God told us there's going to be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And there's going to be so many things happening. So many. I mean, I could go to all the scriptures, but I'm just going to kind of paraphrase, let you guys know there's so many things that are happening right now that's evidence of the Bible being true. Okay, playing out. Bible prophecy. Bible unfolding. The Bible pages are leaping off the pages. Okay, like literally the Bible, we are living it out. We are living it out. Um, there's a reason why things are, have become extremely expensive. Okay. The Bible talks about how things are going to be really expensive. Um, talks about, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, talks about, you know, there's uh, cert there's going to be certain, uh, signs in the sun, moon, and the stars. Um, there's going to be famine, disease, all these things are going to increase. Okay. Once, um, leading up to the end times. Okay. Well, if you've not come to know Jesus Christ as your own personal Lord and Savior, please go watch my Passover video, you guys. Um, my urgent Passover video. I will link it in the description box. Uh, time is so short. We are not promised our next breath. We've never been promised our next breath, right? But the urgency just is going to continue every day. It's just going to keep building and building and building because we are already seeing these signs. Everything he told us to watch for, it's already here. And the neat thing is in Luke 21, let me turn to that really quick. 21 verse, uh, verse 28, I believe. Let me flip there real quick. It's one of my favorite, favorite scriptures. So exciting to me. Okay, we're going to start prior to that. We're going to go to Luke 21. We're going to start at 25, okay? All right, the coming of the Son of Man, okay? Then there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and there will be anguish on the earth among nations, bewildered by the roaring sea and waves. People will faint from fear and expectation of the things that are coming on the world, because the celestial powers will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great oh, glory. But when these things, okay, but when these things begin, let's reread that. But when these things begin to take place, stand up, okay, and lift up your heads, you guys, because your redemption is near, okay? Your redemption is near. Our redemption draws nigh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because we're already seeing these things. And it says, but when these things begin, <laughs> okay, we're not talking about, oh, well, they've been going on for a while. When they begin, you guys look up, okay? Then you need to be staying close to Abba. I mean, always stay close to him, but we're here. We're here in this time. It's already happening, you guys. I, I hope, I hope the, the alarm is going off in somebody right now. Please, please, I pray the Holy Spirit, Father. I pray the Holy Spirit touches everyone listening to this message, Lord. I pray in Yeshua's name. Amen. Okay, I pray, I pray that this will touch your heart. The, the alarm bells are going off, okay? <laughs> we need to be paying attention. We need to stay watchful. We want to be the wise virgins, right? We don't want to be the five foolish virgins that didn't have enough oil and was begging the wise virgins for our oil, okay? Now, what does the oil represent? I did a study on that. It's referring to the Holy Spirit. Okay, you need to be Holy Spirit filled, a born again believer. Okay, if you are not yet, 
please go watch my Passover video, my urgent, ur urgent message, okay? I'm going to link it in the description. It will be listed at the top, okay? And I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself. When I record from my computer, I tend to look at myself a lot. It's a bad habit. I'm sorry. I'm trying to break myself of that because I can see myself as I record. Okay, so ha, I love you all. I just wanted to give you this encouraging, encouraging word. Please stay close to Abba, okay? I feel in my soul... It's like that woman who's in labor, she's, she's, she, she knows the baby's about to come out. You know, she just knows. She's at like a final like few pushes or whatever. It feels that way in my soul. It feels that way. Now, I don't know the day or the hour, but I'm not taking my eyes off of Yeshua. You know, I'm not taking my eyes off of Jesus. Like more than ever, this is the time to be watching and waiting. Because he said, he said right there, he said, when these things began to take place, okay, then he wants you to be extremely watchful, okay? All right. So let's reread that, guys. I feel like somebody needs to really hear this message today, okay? All right, so Luke 21, starting at 25. Then there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And there will be anguish on the earth among nations, bewildered by the roaring sea and waves. People will faint from fear and expectation of the things that are coming on the world. Because the celestial powers will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great... Oh, my God, turn the page glory but when these things begin to take place stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is near <laughs> that's so exciting guys that's happening you know we're oh i'm getting excited i can't help it okay <sighs> all right guys i need to go get a shower i need to go do all my morning stuff i uh, get ready for the day i love you all so much please uh just heed this message okay and if these messages are a blessing to you, please remember to subscribe. Remember to turn on your notifications. You guys, for some reason, when I did a search for myself, I could not find Christ Shines My Life unless I was signed into my account. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if any of you are struggling to find my account. So please make sure you're subscribed. Remember to press the like button and please comment, okay? Because that helps my videos get seen as well. And we're trying to reach more souls for Christ, okay? All right, I love you all so much and have a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Do, do, do. See you guys. Have a great day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.